Hi everyone. Uh, sorry about the no makeup and whole messy hair for the other thing, but Izzy is in bed and I just thought I'd do another thing. So here we go. This is the Rovia. Oh, sorry. This is the Rovia Hybrid Puppy. Um, it's a bit of a I just saw the front, but it's not that wise. It fits from about eight pounds to thirty-five pounds. I have it in the Apex closure setting, but you can also get it with the snaps. Um, one thing I found with the snaps is that the Apex is quite a lot stronger than normal Apex. It's I can't really explain. It. It's kind of like this plasticky version. Um, anyway, another thing is that. The laundry tabs are like no other nappy I've, I've used. I don't think any other nappy has this. It's like a loop that you pop your tab into. So it doesn't come off in the wash. Now, as you probably noticed, it is kind of difficult to get it to go in, but once it's in, you know it's not going to come out in the wash. It's not going to stick to all of the laundry and all of the nappies that you tab in it. It comes in, well, two parts. It's an all in two. Um, you have your shell, um, which has snap down eyes, so it goes pretty small. You see, it goes pretty teeny tiny. Um, this is one of the reasons I chose a fix, um, simply because you can overlap them for a teeny tiny tummy, and Izzy was quite skinny. Um, so this was easier for us. Leg holes are tiny as well. Isabel had really skinny legs. It's starting to thicken out now, but it really has fit her well the whole time we've had it. Um, I just really want to do a review on it because it's uh, it's one of the only nappies um, with inter interchangeable sofas inserts um, that actually works for us because we have a flip, one genius flip, and we have the Gem Y wraps as well, and you meant to have pre folds in there, but it just, when she poos, it goes all over the shell, so there's really no point. I may as well just use a normal nappy because there's no way I can just change the inside and use the shell again. So, the inside of the shell is like this netting material, and it's, it's really quite soft, so anything touching the baby is going to be soft. Two poppers, one at the front, one at the back, and uh, it comes with these pads, and these are the best idea ever. Um, the backing is similar; it's like a plastic, a soft, plasticky feel. So, if your pad gets completely saturated and wet, it's not going to go right through into your shell, so it's protected. Um, the other thing. Is it's in one loop, so that speeds up drying time. It's organic cotton, and usually that takes forever to dry. Um, but this doesn't take half as long. So that's good. Uh, the third thing, which is my favourite thing, is that it has these leg gussets. I have not seen anything like this. I've never seen leg gussets this big. If you breastfeed baby, your baby, you will know that their poos are pretty explosive, and this manages to keep it in and that's quite a rarity so right. the back bit is slightly wider than the front so that goes towards the back the tights on the back have got the label here it simply just pop us in the back and at the front like so and then you've got your nappy ready that's ready to pop up it's just like an in one then you can see here how Double leg So not only have you got this one here, you've got this one here as well. Nothing is going to escape from this nappy. Um, when she's wearing this, I feel really relaxed. Even if we're out in a hero poo, I can just relax. I know that it's not going to go all over her clothes. Um, some nappies, some of the reusable nappies I have, um, I have my favourites. So like I have my more reliable ones to put on when I'm out and I don't have to change it. This is one of those. And it's really, really absorbent as well. Isabel is such a heavy breast, she's a super wetter. 
and this contains it all, almost as much as a um, two-part nappy. Um, the last time I had Izzy weighed, she was about 14 pounds, 14.4 I think it was, yeah. And that was a few weeks ago, so she's probably getting up to 15 pounds now. And she still wears the sloppy on the smallest setting. So um, it's going to last quite a long time. It's a really good fit, and even it's, the legs are perfect. Um, you can see that it's quite trim. Um, that's quite important. I mean, just for putting over a day to day clothes. And also just for them moving. I know that if you have a baby that's just starting to sit up, looking just about, just sit up by himself, if you've got a really bulky nappy on it, it can sometimes affect them. And um, I know that if Izzy's wearing a two part system, then it affects her sitting up as well as she does in, for example, this nappy, a trimmer nappy. Another reason I love this nappy so much is that it has a disposable option. Um, I don't like disposables. One of the reasons I started using cloth, but it's always kind of good to just have them to put in your nappy bag because they're so small. Look at that, it's so trim. Um, you easily fit like six of these in a small amount of space, and sometimes that's essential. Like I suppose if you were going on holiday, then this would be perfect. I know me and Andy are going to Scotland soon to see his parents. So they they live up there and. We decided that we're going to take the Grovia system, we're going to take the reusable inserts and the disposable inserts just because we need to save space and this is the perfect option. These disposable inserts are brilliant also. I love them. I rave about them all the time. And they have the plastic backing on the back as well, so it's not going to go straight onto your shelf. And they have the leg plastics. These are so good. The leg does it in that. It's literally just like a disposable. So you put your disposable pad in by removing the sticky tabs. It, so it's not going to slip around. Um, whoever thought this stuff is a genius. So you remove your tab. It's kind of like a sanitary pad, I suppose, if you think about it, along those kind of lines. And you stick it in. I'm sorry, I really should have done this on the floor or something, but. Um, it's late and I'm tired and I'm not thinking. So you move the tab at the front as well. When you stick in the disposable insert, just try to line up um, the this with the shelf, centre back. Um, it looks like it's going to be too long. It looks like it's wrenched up in the middle. When you pop that down and sort of do that, you can see how the leg is going to work. It's brilliant. When I first got this, um, I bought the experience pack. So I got two shells. I have the purple and the um, tealy blue, like a greeny blue. Kind of like the colour of that pillow over there is really nice. And they've stayed really bright, wash after wash. You really don't have to wash your shell very much. I know some systems are like, oh, you know, buy this and you only have to buy these shells and then buy them and so it's not the five. And then you buy them and you end up with two shells and loads of inserts and you find out that you really need lots of shells because it leaks anyway. This isn't the same. You literally, I have two shells and I reckon I could use two shells for a week without getting anything on them. Um, I hardly ever wash it. I mean, I would hardly ever wash the shells because they literally never get soiled. Um, the only reason I do is just to, just for peace of mind really, just so I know they're clean. One thing I'm going to say about the disposable pads is when I first started using this, when I first put it on as well, this bit here, this bit here was sticking out on either side. And um, when I tucked those in, I thought, oh no, that's going to wick everywhere, it's going to um, leak all onto her clothes. It doesn't, it is just the same as the material around the outside of the disposable nappy. Um, around the legs, it's not going to work. So just, so just leave those hanging out and put it on. If you took them in, you just ruin the gusset system. So the very, very first time I used this, I used the disposable pad first just because I was excited about the whole sticking thing. Um, so I put it on and I was like, oh no, it's sticking out. Took the took these in, 
and she pooed and it went all over the shell. And I was really disappointed, I was like, oh, it's another, another shell pad system that doesn't work for us. Um, so the second time I put it on, I thought, well, actually, I'll just leave it out, I'll just try it. I'll put it at home all day, so why not? If it leaks, it leaks. And I felt like such an idiot because I'd see that's the way you meant to do it, I just didn't realise. Don't need to tuck it in, won't work. Um, when they put it on, change every three hours like you would normally. You just pull it out, graph it up, and plug it in the bin. And then pop in another pad or another disposable, whatever you do. I love them, they're so good. Um, would definitely advise people to try the Grogu system. It obviously won't work for all, it works for us, I'm not saying it will work for everyone. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going, I've been a bit poorly lately. Um, I'm blabbering. I shouldn't have been so I'm tired. Um, I have also read that <coughs> Rovia are bringing out a stay dry insert, which is brilliant because Izzy fusses in um, with wet inserts, she likes to feel dry, so that'll, be, that'll make it even, even more perfect. Right? Oh, right. 